Hey guys, I'm back with another video review. I know it's been a while. I've been, you know, dealing with life. Um, you know, life gets you down. Life takes you through all kinds of twists and turns and everything like that. But, I think it's safe to say, uh, I am back. Um, or I'm going to try to be back more. And, yeah, I figured I'd start with... Just a simple little video review um, of the Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures Droid 3-Pack. And as you can see, we get our main man, R2-D2. We get our new-ish uh, guy, BB-8. And we get our new boy here, Dio. So, um, and, uh... Just so you know, this and some of the other video reviews I may be doing will not have me showing the boxes. Um, if you don't care about the box, let me know. If you do want to see the box in the video, let me know. But fair warning, some figures, I did throw the boxes away. Because it was taking too much space and... It's, it's a bit of a long story that we'll kind of tackle another day. But, uh, yeah. So, let's get right into the review. And as you can see, I'm using my Ready Sets Space Station di uh, Diorama for the review. Because, you know, why not? So, let's take away R2 and BB-8. And we will focus on Dio first. So, he's a cool little guy. I mean, he's pretty much your... Um, your uh, usual microphone or bullhorn on a armature plugged into a wheel kind of thing. Um, the wheel does spin. I mean, not the uh, the middle part. It's like the entire wheel body, if that makes sense. Um, which I mean, you know, it, it, I mean it's cool. It's um, I was gonna say it's not screen accurate, but I mean, if it works, then it works. You know. Um, but yeah, the armature can obviously move back and forth because, you know, like I just said, the wheel can kind of roll. I mean, obviously not on here because it's such a smooth surface. But, um, the antenna are on little ball pegs, so you can kind of move them all together. You can kind of have them sad. And the head's on a ball joint, too. It's a tight ball joint, but it's on a ball joint nonetheless. So you can have them kind of, you know, in a rush. You know, you can have them posed up like that. You can uh, kind of pose them however you want uh, as far as that goes. So maybe uh, one of the top antenna up and the other down. You know, just little stuff like that. So, yeah. Cool little Dio. Um, I would still consider the Black Series Dio to be the best Dio. But um, that's just me. So, there's Dio. And, crap. Now I wish I got my Bandai BB-8 out, but, eh, oh well. Um, maybe, um, maybe uh, I'll um, do a review of the Bandai BB-8 kit and... Oops, sorry, I thought I... I was doing it wrong, sorry. Um, maybe I'll show the uh, Bandai BB-8 with this BB-8 another time, but... Um, but speaking of which, here's BB-8. Um, his head's on a ball peg, so, you know, he can kind of look up and down a bit. He could tilt his head a little bit, you know, do all kinds of BB-8 emoting. Um, he... Uh, does stand on this little kind of post, so to speak. So he is kind of on an angle. No matter where you uh, turn his body, <clears throat> so you kind of have to adjust his head accordingly, which does leave a bit of a gap. But I mean, it's how it's you know it's kind of business as usual. It's because it's kind of like with the uh, Black Series BB-8, but um. He actually has a little feature. You take this panel and this panel and you pry them with your fingernails and you can just pull them out 
and sorry if it was off frame, but you can basically pull these panels apart and you get this. You know? And how you retract them is you just hold him by the head, push down on him, his body spins and the cords retract. Which is pretty cool, you know. It's a neat little feature. I mean, I uh, I tend to kind of mess with them here and there, so. But the one that I mess with the most out of the three is actually oh, there's an ant on my ready set. Isn't that nice? Um, sorry, I found an ant on my ready set for some reason, and uh, my phone just went off. But uh, this guy, R two D two, I mess with him the most. Um, and he's pretty cool. Now, I did do some custom work to him. Like, as you can see, I did weather him. And there was some paint inconsistencies. Like, uh, like there was some blue just kind of sprayed on for, like, the, the ankle rod kind of um, piece right here. I don't know what, what that's called specifically. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Wow, you know everything about Astromex and you don't know what that part's called yeah I haven't looked at the blueprint for that part so give me a break <laughs> but um I mean I just uh, kinda of fixed up the the leg panel paint painted uh, all this down here I mean some of it was, was silver sharpie but still it has done the trick and uh, yeah and uh, this panel used to be blue this panel used to be silver for whatever reason, and I just kind of painted this uh, silver with my Sharpie, and I painted that blue with uh, some acrylic paint. So, and um, his PSI was always red in the front, but I did paint the back one yellow, because that's how I prefer it. When it's yellow in the front, it's yellow in the back. That's my preferred way. Some prefer green in the back when it's red in the front, but... Uh, then I also did. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can focus in on it. I'll have to <clears throat> see if I can. Hold on. Let me. Uh, let me try to get. Okay, this is the best I'm gonna get it. But I did detail the logic. The uh, sorry, I did detail the diagnostic display with. Uh, some silver for the base, and then some green, red, and yellow dots to make it look like it's uh, pulsating. And uh, I, I know it's hard to see, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll be able to see it better. But um, there's that. And then right around the front here, I did detail his logic function displays with... Uh, the blue at the base was already there, but I did add some white dots and some uh, uh, another shade of blue in there. So, yeah. So, let me turn off my phone light and let's zoom out. And we'll bring him forward. Now, his articulation is pretty much like a um, import R2 figure or um, or um, well I mean I guess the black series as well but I mean I don't really count that one because that one has the wind up third leg mechanism whereas this one does not um, but uh, his head does rotate you can go left and right I mean, I know I said that backwards, but still. And then, you know, you could turn it all the way around if you really wanted to. His legs can uh, go a full 360 at the shoulder. Yes, Astromex have shoulders on legs. I know it's weird, but it's just the way they are. And speaking of weird, I'm not sure why, but his ankles are on ball pegs instead of hinges. I mean... Is a cartoony design, so it works, but, uh, you know, at the same time, he never really tilts his feet in and out, just back and forth, or not even at an angle like that, but, I mean, 
it's a kid figure, you know, and um, he does have wheels, so he does roll, ish. I mean, depends on if the surface is that smooth. There you can hear it. And he does have a retractable third leg. Why didn't Hasbro put this on the Black Series mold? I have no idea. Hasbro's Hasbro. I'm not going to call them idiots because that's rude. And I do love their products, but, you know, they should have, you know, put more thought into that mold. And hopefully they'll redo it with this type of third leg mechanism instead of another wind-up because that's just crap. But, um, you could get him into the tripod stance, like so. And he can, you know, roll around, do all kinds of R2-like things. And as you can see, I did um, continue the gray dry brushing and the silver and blue details on the third ankle and foot, or tread, rather. And, uh, yeah. So, and you can, uh, you don't have to pull the third leg out all the way. You can, like, bring it out, like, anywhere between this far to... You know, this far, or however far, uh, however far you want, you know? It's your figure. But yeah, um, and I have seen people replace their Black Series with this. I'm not saying you can't, because, you know, uh, free country, freedom of speech and all that. But, I will say this, it is not going to scale at all. And the reason why I'm saying this is because, let's bring in... Black Series Chopper. See? He's about this... Well, technically he's... Well... Okay, let's just count his antenna. Uh, Chopper's antenna, his communications array, whatever you want to call it. Um, he Counting this, he's taller than R2. But if we're talking like head level, obviously R2's still taller. But that doesn't mean that these two scale with each other. Yes, he's an R-series astromech. Um, Chopper's a C-series astromech, a C-1-series. But it's the principle behind it. Um, oh, and I did uh, punch in some black and the projectors at the, at the top and in the back, in case you uh, were wondering. But, um, but yeah, so you could fudge it in if you really wanted to, but in reality, it does not scale. And if we, speaking of import R2s, let's bring in the, my favorite R2, the SH Figure Arts R2. As you can see, huge size difference right there. And just for the absolute hell of it, yes, I said hell of it. I'm changing uh, my channel up a little bit from a, I mean, it's still going to be kid friendly, it's just, you know. I'm not going to be as clean as I was before. I mean, I'm not going to curse or anything, but that's a whole other topic for another day. But um, here he is with my custom R2 unit, R2SP. And uh, these two scale with each other. This does not. This is its own line and everything like that. Like I said, if you wanted to get this to sub for your Black Series, you could. But I don't really see the point because that's out of scale as well. So... In fact, you know what? Let me bring him out real quick. Now, I know he doesn't have an R2 head, but for one more comparison, here he is with BT1. See? Now, these two are close, but still, you know, like I said, um, they're just... <sighs> this mold just would not at all scale with this. Now... If you want a cheap option for an R2 that looks really good and scales really good and everything like that, and you can't 3D print one, then I highly recommend the Bandai Model Kit. But if you're just an astromech collector and uh, an, an overall astromech fan and everything like that, then obviously this is for you. So, there you have that. Um... So, overall, um, this is a really cool set. Um, 
in a way, I did get this as a birthday gift, um, because um, yesterday was my birthday as of this recording, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to be um, putting this on YouTube probably, I don't know, maybe I'll put it up on YouTube tonight, maybe I'll take my camera home, because I'm actually at my dad's apartment, excuse me, but um, maybe I'll take it home and put it on my laptop and you know, just upload it as a, hey, I'm back, so, but, um, but yeah, and, uh, also the blue around the head, and, uh, the blue in the little vents down here, and, uh, over here, I did indeed paint as well. So, I hope you, uh, liked the video, and, uh, you know, like I said, it is a good set, and, uh, obviously the best one is R2, um, I mean, I know which one the, be uh, who the best is, I just don't know if I'd say, uh, one is bad or one is, you know, uh, one is bad or one's worse or anything like that because, because this is a kid-oriented line and it's not for everyone. Um, like I said, uh, like I said, this is probably going to only appeal to you if you are a droid person and like your boy here I am a droid person so anyway I hope you enjoy the video and you know if you did like it you know feel free to share it you know feel free to comment about it like it subscribe it you know or subscribe to my channel rather and if you don't follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram at starpool295, and I will also have a link uh, down below the video. You know, down down here for my Instagram, just in case you're having a hard time finding it, or you just want a link to click on. So, anyway, I think that's it. So, I hope you, uh, like I said, hope you enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one.